what's popping in Happy Tarot Testimony Tuesday is the Neighborhood Hope Dealer here, and I'm here to give you a fucking Tarot Testimony Tuesday report. First thing we do is we stop and we give reverence to God for whatever we're grateful for today. That's the first thing we're going to do today. So while I ask this, I need you to do that. I want to go hop on. Look, I ain't going to be on here long. If I get if I get a call mid-show, mid I ain't going to be here. I'm going to just be like, bye. What's up, K Cosmic? Happy Tarot Testimony Tuesday. You tapped in at the right time. I'm going to do a little slight Tarot Testimony Tuesday read for y'all. And I'm going to get on all by my way. But since I, so you look new here, listen, one of the things you got to do is you got to say what you're grateful for. You can say it to me or you can type it in the chat. But you got to say what you're grateful for. You can't come. You can't receive my energy if you don't say what you're grateful for. This is all about gratitude. The attitude of gratitude. That's what. That's how we manifest. That's how we get the things that we, we want out of life. Yeah, can say, fuck me. Fuck you. Hey, hey. Tell her, you know what I'm saying? Fuck you. <laughs> That's how I feel. All right. I'm, I'm turned up extra for no reason. I don't have no fucking good water next to me. But whatever. I'm about to get this little shuffle on. My little uterus been cutting up. I don't. I don't know what's happening, but it's the worst. What's popping, guys? Happy Tarot Testimony Tuesday. I'm in this bitch ramp. I'm about to. I ain't started shuffling yet. If you new here in the neighborhood, Hope Dealer, I need you to stop and tell me what you're grateful for today. What are you grateful for today, my friend? Hey, my love. How you doing? Annette, Happy Tarot Testimony Tuesday, dog. How, how you doing? How you doing? I'm over it. <laughs> What's up, dear Beth? I got my usuals coming in this bitch. We been having some new peoples roll through this shit, and they be they come in and they be like, "Who is this bitch?" And then they walk back out. It's like that. It's like that. It's like that. Yeah, that. What's poppin', guys? Happy Tarot Testimony Tuesday. Uh, grateful for you. Oh, thank you, dog. I appreciate you. I'm grateful for you too. Unexpected blessings and gifts. Just wait on it. <laughs> good, good shit. All good shit. I don't even... I'm going to just take all of these. Because this, this is all that fucking flu. This is all that turned over. So, we got the Eight of Wands, the Strength card, the King of Pentacles, and somebody waiting on it. Wait on it. Red hate on it. <laughs> Bottom of the deck. Four of Wands. Yeesh. Y'all already know when I fucking shuffle one deck, I got to shuffle the next Yo, I got my Black History Month nails. Shout out to Black History Month. Let's talk about that. Grateful for just being. Shit, me too. Y'all, I'm over it. Fuck it. <laughs> I don't got time for nothing. My anxiety been fucking. It came in like a wrecking ball, bitch. I was like, what's happening? How did we get here? And why are we here? We leave it. What's up, Tina Marie? Tina. Tia. Oh, I'm sorry. Tia Marie. Forgive me. Look, I can't see you. Even though I got glasses on. Welcome to Tarot Testimony Tuesday. Tarot Testimony Tuesday. On, on, so it's Testimony Tuesday in the neighborhood. But in, in, on Pentecost Illuminations, it's Tarot Testimony Tuesday. And on Tarot Testimony Tuesdays, we stop and we give God reverence for whatever. Something in life. Uh, an attitude of gratitude. Um, gratefulness begets gratefulness. You know what I'm saying? I want the world. I want to let the world know I'm grateful for it, and out and in return, I hope the world shows me that it's grateful for me and my being. The emperor. <laughs> Shout out to fucking Cardi B, the empress. All right, I'm gonna see if I can get. I'm gonna see if I can get one more card out the deck. Just as I did. The neighbor stores. That's my, uh, ooh, that's my, you better be careful what you say to me. Cause somebody might say it to you. You better be careful what you do to me. Cause somebody might do it to you. If the shoe fit. She say, if the shoe fits. Weary boy, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what I'm saying. So, if the shoe fit, the shoe fit. But, all right. All right, let me finish shuffling. Y'all know I got to get some Jesus cards. What's popping? Anybody popping in this thing? Divine timing. 
the uh the ever unfolding rose listen i stay telling people that card that card is like a card that is in my fucking curvy like it's always in my brain the next card is it's the great gathering it's coming it's all coming together intuitive hit soul tribe soul tribe whatever that is and whatever that means to you whatever that feel like whatever that look like to you i got any more cards that want to pop out yes Leap and Warrior Woman. And that landed on the Two of Pentacles. I mean, that, that, that landed on a pink, uh, the King of Pentacles. Um, and the Eight of Wands. And the Knight of Swords. So initially the first thing that comes to my mind. Is to say. Listen. Um, indulge your young spirit. Be careful. Be mindful. Enjoy your and enjoy your young spirit. Don't forget your young spirit. Don't forget your young heart. And the more that you tap into the youthful part of you, because this is a lot of part. This people don't want to think of the names, but the name. I always I think of these cards as pictures, as as evolution, as cycles. Um, and so I feel like you've reached the evolution of your cycle. If you're a woman or a female, you you you. Uh, collected all of you. If you've been watching me for a while, you've collected all of the kings and queens and you've become the empress and emperor. But people think, like, when you become a king or a queen, don't forget how important or an emperor or empress, like, you can't forget how important it was to be a knight. See, the knight wants to, the, the knight is eager. I'm I'm, an, I'm the knight. Eager to learn. Eager to eager to do. Eager, it's just ready because I, I got a sword. I, I, I have some power that I didn't have. And so as a knight, you make the most mistakes because you don't want to listen. You don't want to, you don't want to, you, you're, yeah, you're, 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 um, no, as a matter of fact, it's not a knight. It's a page. I'm sorry. This is the page. So the page is even, and I, I and I, I, I knew I was alluding to a page when I said it, but it's the page because the knight is, the, the knight is, is just as reckless, but we're not going there. So knight, so maybe it's a knight. Well, so whatever came up, came out. But anyways, long story short, like the pages is, is, is important. This is the pages to learn. The page is the errand boy. A lot of people want to skip the page stage. But if you keep, if you skip the page stage, you will never become an empress. Not ever our emperor. Not ever in this life. Not in, in this universe. Maybe in another one. Maybe in fucking the fucking when you die, bitch. But not this one. I can put my cards, all my cards, and my money on that. You know? You know what I mean? You know what I mean? So you have to know what to be in a page is. You have to know how to be a page. You have to grind. Like you can't, I'm, I'm a firm believer in not telling nobody to do no shit that I wouldn't do for myself, that I haven't done for myself. I'm not asking you to do some shit that I don't think work. I'm like, that I think work. I know it worked. Now, is there a better way to do it? I'll, yeah. After I teach you this, you can teach me a better way. Shout out to my trainer. He's awesome. But um, anyways, like, like. The page is the most important, most important card, most important, most important stage in any point of evolution. And, and so one, I want to say, don't forget about that as you sit on your throne, as you become who you are, as you do what you do. That, that message came out. Leap, warrior, uh, have you answered your, your deepest calling? You go first, the universe will catch you. You be, you be grateful first and the universe will be grateful back. Eh? Ow. Ow, shout out to Shanique. It says, Anna, grandmother of Jesus, uh, seeding the light, laying foundations, a divine plan. A divine plan. I literally was just talking to somebody about building a, a sturdy mental foundation. I hope that he understood what I said. Who, who knows, bitch? All right. So, we got the three of wands. We got the eight of wands. We got the string card, and we got the pinnacles, and then we got the, um, four ones at the bottom of the deck, and then we got the, the knave, the, is, yeah, this is the knave, the page of swords, and the empress, so, um, it's a lot of <laughs> that I like them high. Some ones that don't seven is pop. Eat it up, swallow the dick. It ain't no other pop. That that's the song that comes to my mind right now because it's a lot of fire. Ones of fire, so it's a lot of movement going on. So slow and steady wins the race. Uh, shout out to Kane and she. Uh, my my boss he taught me. Um, slow down to speed up. Um, so don't forget to slow down so that you can speed up. Whatever that means. Um, like understand your strength live in your strength um i i feel like i encountered a moment where they said don't dim to fit in um 
like that's that's the card that comes to my mind um don't let nobody try to tame you don't let nobody try to make you be who like let me tell you something i'm honest to god hands down living proof that you could that that you could be untamed in in anything you want to be and create anything you want to do in this life i'm just saying i'm just saying yeah my little arms be looking muscular and shit i look good bitch i gotta get back in the gym but don't like but but if you can't be tamed you must know how to tame yourself you must know how to take care of yourself because it's a lot of fast movement. And if, like, so the the movie The Godfather comes in mind. Too much fast movement and no tame. Um, that's how Sonny got shot. He got, it was too, he was too fucking hot headed. So mind your manners, mind your mouth. But it looks like great things are coming to you because we got a person that looks like, he looks like he's, because this is a waiting for something to come to you card. So this, he looks like he's looking at, what's coming to him so if you can see this he's looking he, okay so he can see um he can see strength he can see uh quick community quick communication he can see money coming uh <laughs> you know he can see his inner child he can he can see his the emperor he can see it coming but he might just be he might this this he might just be this page and that's the crazy things like so so uh, just again so i'm not i don't really want to talk about relationships but a lot of times people so we we're like we're in valentine's a month and all that great stuff i got i gotta get with mike but like like people will not want to be with you when you're in this phase because they can't see what you see they can't see they can't see that you you got strength. They they can't see that money is coming. They can't see that you are a king or a queen. They can't see it. Only you can. And so understand that that's God protecting you as well. But um, it's not your business to make them. But make them see it. But like sometimes your vision is only for you. So so you know what's for you. And that's the thing too. Like um, if the shoe fits, wear it. By by um who's that Mary J Blige or Erica Badu I forget which one if the shoe fits where you gotta know like is when you look out when when you when I look back over my life when I look back over my life and I think things fucking over I can truly say can you truly say that you deserve to be blessed can you truly say that you deserve to have what it is that you have when you look back over your life <laughs> because this is the thing too because they got people who do who 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 talk about what they see and they don't really see that they just heard somebody else talk about it so they be yeah. and then as life goes on people who aren't healed they get with these people and they fucking fall down that they 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 believed in the hype what's popping eight god six god nine god how you doing my love Pop, shout out to esco productions hey yo, the pictures you've been doing lately i love the one you did i think it was it paris hilton you did one of rihanna her little butt cheek was out mm, 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 mm. i just could touch myself to that one so um <laughs> but so i don't know all of that rent but it appears from these cards what the cards say not what i say the cards say it's nothing but good things and wealth ahead and you get to sit back and relax in the throne and watch it all. Watch it all. That's how I felt this week. Literally, swear to God. Swear to God. Swear to God. Oh, God. Swear to God. I just I just was sitting like this outside. I swear to God. But I was naked. Don't judge me. I had a blanket wrapped around me. <laughs> but I swear to God. Like, with the mountains and everything. Swear to swear on God, bitch. Ah! I'm looking at my own life right before my eyes. That shit crazy. <laughs> that shit crazy. So, yeah, that happened. Uh, yes, yeah, because you are a goddess. So are you, my love. <laughs> so are you. We are all. Listen, we just talked about the soul tribe, the great gathering. Right now, we're at the, that's what we're going to name this one. The great gathering. It's all coming together. Intuitive hits. Man, when I tell y'all, I can't, I don't even want to talk about it. Listen, <laughs> the way that the magic been hitting lately is pure magic. It's like, what? <laughs> and y'all, I don't do drugs. I smoke weed. That's it. I'm talking about magic magic. For anybody who ever want to take that out of context, I'm talking about what the, I'm talking about the shit Jesus used to turn water into wine, my boy. <laughs> I got you. Um, I, Esco, you know I'm old. I don't know how to do none of that shit, but I'm going to figure out how to send this to you. I got you. I'm, um, I'm, it's definitely gonna be on this. Um, on I'm gonna save it on Mystical Illuminations. All else fails, but I got you. I got you. Um, all right. So, um, 
this card says, I create harmony. So one of you, I don't know if you guys know, I think I'm a fucking Egyptian uh, queen. Um, I, I used to think I was Hathor. She was the god of, the goddess of dance. But um, I don't think so because I feel like I'm Ra. Uh, who, who is Anubis's bitch? Whoever she is. Her, that cat lady. She was a fine cat lady, but I feel like I just looked like her. Um, or I was Cleopatra. Um, but I was some fucking type of fucking Egyptian queen guy, straight like that. Like, so I really resonate with, that's my, oh, that's, uh, uh, Skemet. Ah, I think that's it. Um, so I think I've been trying to figure out what tattoos I want. So, um, I love that my moon is the Libra scales because, so one, y'all gonna get y'all a nerdy history, history fact to it, but, um, like in the ancient times, the, the gods used to weigh your feather against the heart, uh, your heart against the feather. And if your heart and the feather balanced, then you could go on to the afterlife. Um, so my, with my moon being in Libra, my heart are those scales, my, my, my mind, the way I think are, is those scales. And so it's interesting that I have a fascination with the, um, Egyptian culture. Ah, so, um, I'm going to go get those scales. So, but this, but this deck, when I saw it, it's actually, I'm going to show it to you. So it's a, a actual depiction of the heart being weighed against um, a feather was your heart as light as a feather during your lifetime so random nerdy fact toy so when I saw the cards I was like are you kidding me I have to these cards were made for me like my ancestors at years like I'm talking about Cleopatra playing this years and years and years ago and it was like finding the golden ticket it was just like I, we're gonna make as many of these but it was like the princess and the pea bitch but the right bitch gonna know these cards for her like the right person gonna see this symbol and be like damn this for me <laughs> only a real recognize real a real one gonna see these cards and be like i have to have these there's no way in life that i cannot have this so that's why i my my fixation so i be talking to the ancestors the ancestors be leaving me little little um little 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 pieces of candy on the trail of life. I'll be like, ah, that's how I know I'm in the right place. So these cards really re resonate for me. They really hit for me. They make me feel real magical. So I create harmony. I can be trusted. I am forgiving, and I live in truth. All of these cards are me. How can you can you say these things about yourself? That that's simple. Like, can you say I create harmony? How much drama you how much drama you cause? And now is it the pro, is it for the purpose of entertainment? Because that's that's your dynamic, or is you always in other people's business, minding other folk business, bitch? If I'm not minding diamonds or money, I'm not minding. Oh, it ain't got nothing to do with me, bitch. I am forgiving. My name is Leanne, and I am forgiving. I am forgiving. Are you forgiving? Do you forgive people for what they've done for to you? Uh, for real, for real. Let's have that talk real quick. You still mad because of what happened to you when you was a kid? You still mad because you still mad because you ain't get that job? You still mad because that dude left you? You still mad because that man, that girl took your man? You still mad because somebody got chose over you? You still mad? Are you for or are you forgiving? Listen, when you forgive people, you light as a feather. You light as a feather. I don't I don't hate nobody. I don't I don't have ill will or a a, a beef. I like Cardi B say she say if you beef with me, you beef by yourself, bitch. I don't know. I don't have anything ever. I don't yeah, I don't, I just, I'm forgiving. I forgive you. I forgave you. I'm like, God, I forgave you before you even knew that you was about to sin. I knew you was going to sin for you knew you was going to sin. I could look at you and tell you. But that's another story, another rabbit hole for another day. Are you forgiving? Am I forgiving? I could be trusted. Can you really be trusted? Bitch, sometimes I be asking myself, can I be, bitch, can you? <laughs> can you be trusted? <laughs> Can you? Because sometimes a bitch don't be wanting to be trusted. A bitch be wanting to do some old sneaky, sneaky shit. Some shit that's... Sh hmm. Can you be trusted, though? It's not easy. I can be trusted, unfortunately. So being trusted don't always lead to a fun life. Some things I just gotta watch walk by. <laughs> walk on by. I gotta walk right on by because I'm trusting. Because I can't be around the person that don't do trusting ass shit. If you can't be trusted, I can't fuck with you. I Like, if I ever see you can't be trusted, I'm going to be like, wait, hold up. Hold up. 
Wait, that, that, that's what happened in my head when like, you do some slick ass shit on some slick ass shit. Cause when people do slick ass shit, they know they're doing slick ass shit. They look at you like they don't know they're doing slick ass shit, but they know they're doing slick ass shit. So can you be trusted? I just had one to know. I know. Me, as for me and my house, we serve the Lord. I could be trusted. Unfortunately. <laughs> That's a stressful life. You know how stressful it is to be trustworthy. Oh, help. Say help. I don't want to be trustworthy. <laughs> God, forgive me. I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. I always tell God I'm just playing. Even though he know I'm just playing, I just want him to be sure that he know that I don't. I'm just kidding. I live in truth. Man, there's so many motherfuckers. Ooh, my ring, my ear ringing so bad. I live in truth. It's so many motherfuckers out here living a lie. Whew. I feel sorry for them. I can't. Let me tell you. I mean, like, the, the CBD cigarette. But this one, like, I live in truth. It's not easy to live in truth. Hello, somebody, anybody, anybody. Hello, can we do that? Can we talk about that? How many, how many, how many of you out there today living in your truth? <laughs> for real, for real. Unencumbered truth. Unencumbered happiness. Unencumbered joy. How many of you living in your truth? Bitch, I live in my truth every day. That's my job. I was talking to a young lady yesterday and she said, I said, I think it's our job to inform people. She said, I don't think it's my job. Because we talked about um, assignments and things like that. And I said, I don't think it's my, she said, it's not her job to inform. Uh, my assignment is that. My job, I, unfortunately, I hate that shit. I go about how I inform people differently. But that's my assignment. That's what God gave me when he passed out assignments in life. That was on my paper. You can't see my paper. Might not have been hugs. So when if I live in my truth truthfully, my truth was popping Amber. My truth truthfully is I gotta I gotta give you this information that I got. You know how much I paid for this fucking information? I paid a lot for this information so I can go give it to the people for free. Man, they probably hate my stupid ass. They boys probably looking for me right now. I got that's why I can't do nothing crazy. They looking for a reason, bitch. Mm mm. Mm mm. I can't give them one. I'm going to go get all this knowledge and I'm going to go give it back because that's how I, that's all I got. So, you know, no, I live in my truth. My truth is this. Some, some, some at fucking, what, 8 o'clock, 6 o'clock this morning, I'm on fucking IG story, fucking teary-eyed and shit. <laughs> and then by 9.30, I'm like, what up? We got, we got shit to do. Get out the way, bitch. I got shit to do. If if you in my way, then I got to remove you. Some, some, something. I got to go through you. What bitch Sean say? What, man? Anyway, so do you live in your truth? All right. So let me get my Jesus. Let me get my Jesus card. Oh, we get God. We get God. I love her. I hope. So one day I got a couple of y'all that one day if I ever really make a lot of money, I'm going to make sure that I bless you. Like, <laughs> Like, God bless you. Like, I gotta, like, because I see a lot of these influencers, they be, um, like, they be getting sponsorships and they be giving away, like, Louis Vuitton bags. If that ever happened, man, A1 since day ones that's been on here with me just fucking off because why not? I appreciate you. Uh, so I'm trying some new coconut milk. Well, coconut water. I hear make your pussy real wet. I'm trying to get that thing lubricated. <clears throat> trying to make sure that thing stay hydrated. I touch it too much. I touch it too much. Touch. <laughs> Ugh. That stuff is awful. It's lumpy. Ugh. I'm going to drink that shit, though. I'm going to let y'all know. <laughs> I'm gonna put a, a cup of milk on my Instagram. That then that's gonna let y'all know. That's get y'all some fucking coconut uh, water. All right, <laughs> sea moss. Man, they keep telling me about that fucking sea moss, my girl. I don't know. I gotta. I, I saw some at a uh uh. What do you call it? Uh, fucking um um Caribbean spot. Uh, like an authentic Caribbean spot. So I was like, ah, I'm going to have to try it. I'm going to get some. They say it's good for your health, too. I got to get back in the gym. I've been, I been moving. Yeah, you already know how that shit go. So now I'm about to get back. What's, 
um, comes in pill form too. Ooh, I don't like pills. I probably just eat it as a little snack. It'll trick my mind into like I'm eating something good, but I'm not. What's popping? Bands up, bands up, hold down, hey. And if we got the bands up, I hope to add the whole like face down, but I ass up, face down, ass up. That's the way I like the fuck. It's really how it be. All right, I'm going back to my Jesus cards. Uh, <laughs> um, yo, it's the neighborhood hope dealer. Look, look, if you're new here, if you're new here, make sure. Um, uh, I must say, make sure you hit that like button. I'm think I'm on YouTube, y'all. Pray for me. If you're new here, it's Tarot Testimony Tuesday. Um, we take time to give reverence to God. Um, I did a tarot reading. We talk about God and all kind of random shit. But one of the most important things we do here is we stop and we we just take the time to be intentional about how grateful we are. Okay? All right. So if you if you don't do that, if you don't intention if you don't set that intention, if you're not a person that can do that or that will do that, then you won't receive this energy. This probably ain't the place for you. And you could be like, I can do what I want to. Okay? And you just wasting your fucking time. But Neither here nor there. All right. Our help is in the Lord. Is, okay, our help is in the name of the Lord, the maker of heaven and earth. Our help coming from you. I appreciate y'all. I love y'all. Y'all y'all make me. Oh, y'all. I just love y'all. Y'all make me so excited and happy. I'm so grateful for you. Um, How precious to me are your thoughts. Oh, God. Oh, God. How vast is the sum of them. How precious to me your thoughts. Oh, God. How vast is the sum of them. Um, the heavens declare the glory of God. The heavens declare the glory of God. The heavens declare the glory of God. You can you, listen to that. The heavens declare the glory of God. You know, you're in heaven when you hear declarations about how good God is. Let's talk about that. I'm grateful. I'm grateful for my birthday on Friday. Um, I'm, I'm kind of freaking out about turning 40 happy fucking birthday we have had our best 40 ever 40 is your angel year four that's their four year so that's how i read that for you that's your four years that's your angel year so go enjoy it what do you want to do what do you want 40 to look like make you a list before friday what do you want 40 to look like what kind of house i don't care how crazy it sounds what kind of house would you like to have what kind of relationship would you like to have? What kind of job would you like to have? I don't care if it's so crazy, so out of what. Like, if you could have the perfect 40. Go write that shit down. That's my homework today. All right. Um, you go before me. Oh, yes. Hallelujah. Oh, I feel like. Oh, I feel like. A, oh, I feel like an old bitch just then. <laughs> this card says, you go before me and you follow me. God is before me and he is behind me. He protects me from the front and he protects me from the back. You can't see him. You might not be able to. You should be able to. But if you just if you just so happen to, to roll up and not see him, I'm telling you right now, God is in front of me and in back of me. And I'm not telling you the cards telling you. And if you go back and watch any of my videos, I always tell you the boy here. You don't want to fuck with him. <laughs> he right there. He just <laughs> it sounds crazy, but don't fuck with me, cause my boy, he, he, you go before me and you follow me. You place your hand of blessing on my head. You cover me in blessing. I bet God hand big as fuck. Like. <laughs> Like, if God a man or a woman, he probably got big ass, she, shim. What if God is a, is, is a fucking, oh, what if God is LBGTQIA, bitch? Oh, man, it's a whole bunch of white men and women going to hell. It's a whole bunch of left, right wing Christians. It's a lot of motherfuckers going to hell. <laughs> I'm just fucking with y'all. Okay, all right, I'm done. Um. You place your hand of blessings of upon your up. Yeah, fuck, I can't talk, y'all. I feel like every day is Mercury retrograde for me now. Uh, I think faster than I can speak, or I speak. I don't know. One of the two. They both. They be getting caught up, caught up. All right. Uh, you place your hand of blessing on my head. All right. Delight yourself in the Lord, and He will give you the desires of your heart. Delight yourself in the Lord, and He will give you the desires of your heart. Give yourself, make yourself happy on God. Get, get, use, 
be happy. Like, remember that magic I was talking about earlier? Not, not real drugs, folks. But, like, that real magic. The magic that I'm talking about, real magic, though. The magic that Jesus used to turn water into wine. That shit, like, delight yourself in the Lord. And he will give you the desires of your heart. Like, do that. Enjoy yourself. But it has to be work, through his work. Whatever that is to me. Whatever his assignment is to you. Was, is for you. The Lord is my right hand. I will not be shaken. The Lord is my right hand. You're my right hand. You're my go-to. Hey. What? Love everything? I'm going to play that. About you. That's a bold move. All right. All right. Um, <laughs> That's how I feel about God. Jesus. You're my right hand. You're my go-to. Now, people don't seem to God like that. People don't stare at their God. They just want to God. They just want to, you know, take from God and get all of the gifts from God. But they don't never be like, oh, Jesus, you my right hand. You my go-to. All right. Um, our lives are in God's hands. And he keeps our feet from, st our feet from stumbling. In hmm. him, my heart trusts. And I am helped. My heart exalts. And with my song, I give thanks to him. With my song, I give thanks to him. Just like that. In that order. In that order. Hey, in that order. That's all I got for y'all today. I'm about to go. My phone dying. I got shit to do. Y'all look, I ain't get a phone call in the middle of this thing. Um, shout out to Mystical Illuminations. Uh, my name is Neighborhood Hope Dillo. Fucking follow me if you want to. Um, <laughs> uh, what else am I going to say? I got some podcasts we about to do soon with Mike, some other shit. Y'all already know the you already fucking know the deal. If you don't go watch one of these other videos with my fucking face on it. Oh y'all, we got y'all fucking nigga, we made it. Like we got some fucking scams. Scam like we got scam mag scamsters on this bitch. Trying to like one how did the fake mystical illuminations page fucking try to add me? What the fuck? How that happen? Why would you do that? How did this get here how the fuck did this get here how could you and so i went on their page i probably should go spam them or make them hate they stuff but i'm not <laughs> i'm about to go uh do some work try to get this fucking um you're welcome my love try to get this fucking um episode two episode one and season two of the neighborhood out i doubt that i'll do that but let's see let's see let's see let's see let me see let me see let me let me see your let me see your tongue ring so there's that i'll talk to y'all later happy tarot testimony tuesday say what you're grateful for uh bye bye <laughs>